Lord, this remind me of the days when I first started YouTube from the cell phone. This is this is really bringing back memories. But anyways, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl China B back in the cut with another video. Okay. Currently, I'm not home right now. I am on vacation. So I wanted to make an intro to this video um, because the first intro that I made to it doesn't really correlate with how the video turned out. So what I mean by that, originally it was supposed to be a transformation video, but I felt as though I didn't do as much in the video for it to be considered a transformation type thing. So instead, it's just gonna be a vlog, just a, a regular vlog where you spend a couple days with me. So yeah, I just wanted to clarify that really quick and also give you guys a quick intro to this video. Before we get into today's video, make sure you guys like and subscribe. We'll also have my socials linked in the description below so you, so you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. With all of that being said, let's get on into today's video.
and she's back in full effect. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so obviously this is the final result of my hair. I am just, I'm so happy with how it turned out. It's, it's been a while since I've had like anything done different to my hair. So I'm really just taking it all taking it all in. I'm gonna I'm a definitely try to make this last as long as I can because I only straighten my hair once or twice a year so I definitely like, I gotta take it in when I can. Hold on, I don't, I don't feel like this is doing much justice, wait. In this lighting, for some reason, it looks a bit brighter. I'm not sure if you guys can tell the difference but I can definitely tell the difference that it looks brighter in different lighting and I feel like it's gonna look even brighter like in the sunlight. Yeah, she got, she got length, she got fullness and length, look at her. So yeah, so I'm probably gonna continue this vlog if not tomorrow, then definitely um, Friday so we will take a trip to the nail salon and I gotta order those lashes. I'm probably gonna actually order those lashes tomorrow if anything, so they'll, so I'll get them by either the same day or by Friday. All right, so it is not the next day. It's actually Saturday. It's been two days since the last time I talked to you guys. Nothing really was going on between uh, between Thursday and Friday. There wasn't a, a reason to film or vlog anything because nothing was going on besides work. So today, on Saturday, I am... Well, I'm trying to see if I can get my nails done this morning because I tried to book an appointment, although this would be like last minute. I tried to book an appointment um, this morning through their website, but it didn't say that there was like any availability. But it said the same thing for next weekend and the weekends like after that. So I'm not sure if you're just not able to book with them on the weekends through their website or if it's like a first come first serve on the weekends but I'm about to call them once I park somewhere and find out. I'm sorry if it seems like I'm switching back and forth. I'm just trying to get the best light for you guys. But for right now, I am going to get something to eat. I have a craving for Chick-fil-A this morning, their breakfast. So I'm trying to hurry up and get there before their breakfast, um, their breakfast hours are over. Good morning, how are you today? Good, how are you? What can I do for you? Um, can I get your um, your chicken and hash brown scramble bowl? Yes, ma'am. Oh, uh, the combo? Yes, ma'am. What do you like to drink? Um, orange juice. Yeah. And can I get um, additional hash browns with that? Um, so you'd like a, a, a side order of hash browns? Yes, well, uh, another side of uh, hash browns. Yes. Anything else? That's it. So I got the chicken bowl meal with the hash brown and an OJ and then another order of hash browns. Yes. Any sauces for you today? Uh, no, that's okay. okay. It'll be 11.49. Okay, there we go. All Have right. a great day. Thank, Thank you, you, too. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Good. You have the chicken bowl meal with the extra hash brown, right? Yes. Okay. Any sauces or ketchup? No, that's okay. Here we go. Perfect. Thank you. My pleasure. Have a good day. You too. So I leave some space for me to eat. So obviously I got the uh, the chicken scramble bowl. Oh, isn't she lovely? Oh, it didn't fall on the floor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is this spicy? Oh no, it's not spicy. I'm tripping. Let me go ahead and call the nail salon that I want to go to and see if it's like a first come first serve today. Um, quick question. Um, through your website, are, are you guys um, not able to book an appointment like on the on the weekends through your website? Uh, yes, right. We don't get uh, any appointment at the weekend. Oh, okay, so, so it's a... you guys just walk in here and uh, who comes first, we can get from. Oh, okay, got you. I'll be there in a few minutes then. Thank you. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm, bye bye. Okay, so that was the case then. You can't book an appointment on the weekends through their website. So that's what I thought that was.
we got the nails done. Finally, finally. The waiting time or like when I, well, okay. So when I first got up here, it was kind of packed. So I had to kind of wait for about 20 or 25 minutes and um, for, you know, for, for me to go. But I feel like the, the wait time was worth it. My experience to this nail salon is always satisfying. I love to go here. The atmosphere in there just gives luxury, calm, peaceful, serene, like everything under the sun. But right now, I've been trying to see when my freaking lash clusters are, are gonna come in. Every time I check on Amazon, it keeps saying that the arrival time isn't until 10 p.m. So, now I know sometimes that it, that's not always accurate. Sometimes that they'll deliver like maybe hours beforehand, which I'm kind of hoping that's the case now because I kind of wanted to use them for tonight, but if not, then I have to wait till tomorrow to show you guys what it looks like. All right, you guys, so it's been a few hours since the last time. We have talked. It's currently five o'clock in the afternoon. I had to take me a little quick power nap before this evening because that's just what I need. If I'm planning to go out past eight o'clock, sounds so old of me to say, and I'm really not that old, but if I'm planning to go out past eight o'clock, I need to take some sort of a power nap because I'm not gonna make it throughout the night if I don't. All right. Let me find my clips to pin my hair back. I'm not doing a makeup tutorial. I'm not doing none of that because you know what? I don't even need this. I just need to clip this back. But yeah, I'm not doing like no makeup tutorial. So please don't. If I do something wrong in y'all's eyes, like don't clock me. <laughs> please don't clock me. I did my eyebrows earlier so I'm not gonna I don't I well I really don't need to go in on them the most I'll probably do is carve them out with some concealer and that's about it so we're gonna keep this cute and sweet I might do a little bit of color maybe maybe not I'll see as we go I never I, I can never stick with like a clear idea of what I'm gonna do with my makeup because once I actually get into it then things might end up changing and so when things end up changing and I kind of just go with the flow with it and do what I feel like doing I end up looking completely different from what I originally had in mind for myself. I think a lot of us do that though. We just kind of get in the zone. We really get in the zone and kind of just go with the flow of things and just, you know, just do it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little annoyed because my freaking lash clusters have not come in yet. Now I know on the, now I know on the, on the Amazon, or on my Amazon um, account, it says that it's not set to be delivered until 10 o'clock this evening. Oh wow, that's a little messed up. I get that, but still, sometimes they deliver it like a little bit earlier than what they predict. And if it's gonna be delivered that late, why even deliver it on that day? Like you, you might as well have just said you're gonna deliver it um, on Sunday, but it's whatever. It ain't that damn serious. It's been a while since I've actually like been out and about and that was one of the things that I said that I was going to start doing this year is just be outside a little bit more because for those that don't know, I am a homebody. I love the comfort of my home. I am for the sheets, not the streets and <laughs> in a good way. And you know, I'm, I'm just comfortable like in my space because I know that likely something isn't gonna go go bad or go wrong but I also have to realize with being comfortable with being comfortable you don't really experience things you don't really grow as an individual you just kind of stay stuck in this mindset and after a while you're going to be kind of annoyed because I feel like that's what my issue has been last year and what it's kind of recently is now because I don't take the time to really go out whether it's with friends or it's by myself when did this become a talking session but we're gonna keep this going but whether I um I go out by myself or I go out with friends I need to get out the house like make time for it at least once a week I have to make that a priority I keep telling myself this until I actually start to do it 
but there's still a part of me that has like that little bit of social anxiety that's like okay what if it okay so let's say and it, this is like my my low-key social anxiety kind of talking in my head it's like okay so if we go out if we decide to go out and we meet somebody what if that person ends up being a crazy person what if that person ends up being a fucking face and just a terrible person had you not like had you not decided to go out, you would have never even met that individual and you would have never like had any type of encounter with this bad person messing up your energy or whatever. But then again, it's like, you can't always think that way. You also have to think in a positive mindset too. It's like, okay, be that as it may, that is a possibility. What if I do meet somebody that I like? What if I do end up meeting my man, my man, my man? Like, those are the what ifs that I want to push towards the front of my mind and push those negative thoughts like back and be like push to the back push to the back because I know I know that's a thought that's never going to leave my mind but if it's something that I that I hardly even think about then that's a lot better because that from that point it will keep me it won't keep me from going out I'm not gonna lie I'm, I'm trying to I'm kind of like in this in-between state of being excited to go out but then also not being excited to go out like if plans end up getting canceled then I would be just as happy <sighs> yeah it's just it is a thing and and I feel like that's a thing that a lot of people are starting to like be honest about and I feel like that's okay to be honest about that I'm just talking I'm just talking though I'm really just talking to y'all because I'm not explaining anything about what I'm doing with my makeup here so I'm just kind of talking with y'all <sighs> I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing I don't know what I'm doing I'm just gonna go with the flow I don't even care I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with the flow you guys when I have the hair the makeup and the outfit on so just give me give me that's four seconds give me two seconds all right so this is the final look let me kind of zoom in a little bit for y'all I need a full-length mirror in my room cuz I literally ran into my mom's room just to use this mirror but this is pretty much it kept the hair pretty simple because it's already loud on its own I basically like have a lot of gold jewelry on the two change the hoop earrings the single chain on the wrist and you know that's pretty much it not trying to do too much and the heels so I gotta hurry up because I'm running late per usual so I'm gonna I'm gonna get back with you guys tomorrow about the lashes and then I think that might wrap up the actual video as a whole. But yeah, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I meet my man, my man, my man tonight. And if not, I'm gonna have a good time regardless. All right, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Okay, but it is the next day. It is Sunday afternoon. I think it's like three or four o'clock right now. So the last step that I'm gonna do within this vlog is to do these lashes. So these are the B and Q lash clusters. From my understanding, I think that um, they're, they're pretty, the directions on here are pretty simple. It has like directions on the back if you don't have a clue of how to do it exactly. Yeah, they seem pretty straightforward. So within the pack, it does come with obviously the lashes. It comes with its own um, its own bonding glue and also its its own lash remover and application thing to actually put them on. And also a little comb on the other end. At the end of it, you can, you know, comb your lashes out. So let's open this up really quick. So in case you're wondering uh, what style I, I got, I got the V07 D mix. These look so nice and they feel really nice too. I'm hoping uh, TikTok does not lie to me now. To give it kind of like a, ca a cat eye effect, I think that's 
Oh, I'm hoping that's how it'll look. I'm gonna try to do like 116 on the very outer corners on each eye, fill in the middle part with the 14 lengths, and then the inner corners, I'm gonna use the 12, the 12 lengths or the 12 inches. Let's try to do the 16s on the outer corners first. Let's apply the glue. I've seen a lot of people like stretch out their eyes to make sure that they actually get it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it on my eyelid, <laughs> baby. Get it together. I'm gonna try it with the tweezers that came with the pack and see if this is easy. And if it's still giving me a hard time, then I'll use the other tweezers. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Bro, it's not doing what it needs to do. All right, we're trying these. Dude, this doesn't have to be so difficult. Uh, and it might be just me. I might just be making it. I'm, I just might be difficult or don't understand. That took way too much effort, but <laughs> but at least we got it on there. We got it on there finally. try to ignore the fact that my leg feels like it's about to fall off right now but as you can see I'm pretty much done with the lashes I like how it looks I feel like I feel like with the left one I might need to add one more just to kind of fill in that inner corner there but then again I'm really debating on whether that's really necessary and if it is necessary then I need to use something a bit shorter than the 12 then again you know what I might just leave it as it is I might just leave it as it is. Oh, they look so cute though. I'm not even gonna lie. They don't they don't look bad to me from afar. From afar they don't look bad and you know up close. I mean it's not perfect, but I've seen worse. So being as this is my first set, I'm not gonna do too much with it. But I'm pretty sure that you can you can stack these. So if one layer isn't a, isn't enough for you, you can definitely stack these. I've seen, seen people on TikTok uh, be able to do that. If I had to rate B and Q lash, lash, lash clusters, I would have to give it a, if I'm honest, if I'm honest, I would probably have to give it a nine out of 10 only because I wish that this came with like an extra sealant like the same way that the that the kiss lashes or the kiss lash extensions have the bond glue the remover and like a i think it's called like a overnight glue basically like an extra hold i wish that this had came with it but maybe it does maybe that there's another pack that does come with it um correct me if i'm wrong in the comments but if that's not the case then B and Q needs to add a glue that's stronger than the actual bond just to ensure that 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 the lashes won't go anywhere. Aside from those, I am definitely loving. I love this. All right. So we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys leave a like, comment down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure that you guys subscribe if you wanna see more content from me. And the next time I do a video like this, I promise you I will do more within that video. I feel like in this one, I didn't do as much as I wanted to do. Well, there was only two things that I didn't do, which were my eyebrows and my toes. So I'll save that for the next time. I decide to do this again and try some some different things too. I will also have my socials linked in the description below so you guys can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And I'll also have my storefront in the description below as well. So you guys can go to the direct link to get the B&Q lash clusters if you're interested in wanting to, you know, look at those. With all that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Deuces.